Welcome back. We're nearing the end of our course and we're going to wrap things up by learning a little bit about the history brushes. These aren't terribly complex tools but they are kind of neat and you can achieve some really cool effects. I've got an image open here with a little bit of history already, already in the palette. But we're going to make another change and see kind of what this can do. So I'm going to take this layer with the car and I'm going to desaturate it. We're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, or Control U, and get this box, and we're going to desaturate. There's a couple ways to do this. This is just how I'm doing it for this purpose. We'll desaturate it down to a black and white image. Now what the History Brush does is it's going to paint an earlier version of your file onto you know, your current layers. See what that looks like. Over here in the history we can see there are several steps that we've gone through with history and there's these little boxes on the left. Now I'm going to check a box from the version that I want to paint back onto. I'm going to go with this name change. Well we'll go with layer order. So we'll click on it and the little history brush icon pops in there. So this means whatever I paint is going to paint from this layer onto my new layer, onto my current version. Let's increase the brush size. This is the same as the other brushes we've been working with. You've got your brush size option, your brush presets, your mode, opacity. Um, I don't know that there's anything in here that I need to spend any time on. I'll come back and edit this video if anybody feels I should. We're going to take this history brush and we're going to start painting. And what it's doing is it's painting from the earlier version of the image. We changed it to black and white, but we're painting from this, this part of history where it wasn't black and white. And we're giving it its blue color. And the reason I'm doing this kind of an image by desaturating it and then painting the colors is because this seems to be the most popular use for the history brush. People love this effect and this is a super easy way to achieve it. Okay, now, I'm not using a stylus so this isn't perfect but uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here and, and the idea behind this. If you use a stylus, you can obviously achieve much more perfection and uh, you know better results. But again, the main point of this brush is to choose a point in history and then paint from that point in history onto your current layer or your current image. The other tool we have under this under the history brush is the art history brush. The art history brush does something similar. It will paint an artistic style version of your history. So if we come up here and we have, we'll just do tight and short and we'll increase the brush size and take a look at what this does. So tight and short now is giving us this very, very stylized version of our car. Making it look kind of like a an impressionist painting or something. So it's essentially just what it sounds like. It sounds like the history brush with art applied to it. And you can you can check out the different versions and see what what those all do and how that affects your image as you're painting. They all have a different kind of a look to them. Yeah, that's that's too big a brush for that one, but but hopefully you see the point here. Um, so you can adjust the settings here and kind of figure out how you want that to paint on. But it's a, it's a neat way to to take an image and blend in just kind of artistic styles and looks to just portions of it. 
And that's really, that's really all there is to the history brushes. Hopefully you see the value in that and you've learned a little bit from this lesson. Let me know your thoughts. We'll see you in the next one.